Hey guys, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can check how much RAM and memory you have on your Windows 10 operating system. In addition, I'm also going to show you how you can check the software and hardware specification on your Windows 10 operating system. And also, I'm going to show you how you can check uh, the memory usage on your Windows operating system. So let's get started. So first of all, what you can do is you can click on your Windows icon and then click on the settings. And then here, just click on the system option here. So just click on system and then scroll down and then click on the about section. So here, when you will scroll down, you will see uh, all the details about your uh, PC. So the device name, the processor you have, and then installed RAM. So I have 23.4 GB RAM here. And then you can see device ID, product ID, system type, and then uh, other uh, PC related uh, specifications. When you go down, you will be able to see uh, the edition of Windows 10. So I have Windows 10 Enterprise, and then version, and uh, then uh, the date on which it's installed and then OS build also you will be able to see in this uh, about section. So here you will find the uh, Windows 10 related uh, specifications. Now uh, if you want to see some more uh, specifications or details about your PC you just need to go to the search and then search for MS info or just search for system information and the first result which will appear here will be system information. So just click on this option and just choose uh, the first system summary option here. And here you will be able to see more details about your PC. When you scroll down, I can see the installed physical memory here and then uh, all the other uh, details about the memory. Page file space also I can see. So on this page also, you, you can get more information about your uh, software and hardware, right? So if you want to see uh, more details about the software environment or hardware specifications, you can uh, click on the hardware specifications here, or you can uh, click on the components here and choose uh, uh, the option you want to see, right? So software specifications are also there. So system drivers, you will be able to see and other uh, uh, specification you will be able to see in this window. Now, if you want to get more information about your PC, you can uh, go to your search bar also, and then uh, just search for DXDIAG, and uh, you will see this option, which says DXDIAG, run the command. And once you click on this uh, uh, command, you will be able to see this kind of uh, page here. And here in the system information, you will be able to see uh, some useful information about your PC. For example, the um, uh, system manufacturer or system model, BIOS, processor, memory, page file, and if it supports uh, DirectX or not, and which version of DirectX is installed. And then you have the display settings here. You can see the manufacturer of your uh, device and other settings related to display. And then you have the driver information here. You also have under render the graphics uh, card information. So you can see the name, manufacturer, chip type here and other information about the graphics card. Sound card information also you have and then uh, other sound card information you have here. And then you have the inputs uh, information here. Okay, so this is also going to give you the good information about your PC specs and other information related to your PC. And then uh, if you click on the save all information, you will be able to uh, save uh, this information in the form of text file. So you can uh, just see that information at once in the text file also. Now, if you want to know more about your uh, system information and RAM or other uh, hardware and software uh, specs for your Windows operating system, you can also install CPU ID, CPU Z. CPU Z is a freeware that gathers information on some of the main devices of your system. 
and then show it to you in the simple uh, to view uh, way. So let's see how we can install this uh, tool on our Windows 10 operating system. So open your favorite browser and search for CPU Z. And the first link which will appear here will be from cpuid.com. So I'm going to just click on this link. And once this website opens, I'm going to scroll down here. And here you will see a few different options here. First is the classic version, other is the custom version and uh, you also see latest validations. So what I like to do is I uh, like to download this classic version and I generally uh, download the setup file. But if you want to uh, use it uh, for only for once or twice, then you can also use this zip file also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on the setup uh, button here, which is going to give me uh, this kind of window. And from here, I'm going to just click on the download now button and then save it on my Windows operating system. Now, this file is a very small file, 1.8 megabytes, so it will be downloaded really fast. So I'm going to go to the location where this file is downloaded and then I'm going to just click on this file. So it's going to start the installer and then I'm going to click on the yes button and then minimize my browser. And the first window here will be the license agreement window. So here I'm going to just click on I accept agreement and then click on next. And then this will be the default location where your uh, software will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change it, just leave it as default and then click on next. And then click on next once again. And if you want to create a desktop icon, just leave this as default and then click on next. And then click on install. Once you do this, you will be able to see that uh, this uh, readme file opens. If you want to read this file, then uh, you can read it. And then you will also see that this desktop icon is created for CPU ID, CPU Z software. So I'm going to just click on this uh, software icon and then uh, click on yes, which is going to open uh, this CPU ID, CPU Z software. Now here, once your uh, software opens, you will be able to see uh, different uh, tabs here. First is the CPU tab. And here you will be able to see which uh, processor you have. And then you will be able to see code name, package, technology, and other uh, information related to your CPU. Also, you can see the cache options here. And then you have the main board options. So you will be able to see the manufacturer of your motherboard and other information related to motherboard. You have the memory options. So I have around 23 uh, GB memory here, which I see. And then I have this SPD, which is the S advanced option. And then I have this graphics option and then the bench and about option. Now, if you want to see more details about the usage of CPU or memory on your Windows 10 operating system, then just, just right click on your taskbar. So not here, but on your taskbar, just right click and then choose this option which says task manager. And it's going to open this kind of uh, task manager. And uh, if you see here, you can uh, see more details option. So if you don't uh, see uh, uh, more details here, just click on this option which says more details and you will be able to see more details about uh, your PC and uh, whatever task which are running on your Windows operating system. So right now I have Microsoft Edge running and task manager running. And if I go to the performance here, I can see how much CPU uh, is consumed and how much memory is consumed out of uh, the memory I have, and then the disk also, and the ethernet information also I can see here. Also in this window, I can see the app history, startup uh, programs, which are enabled at the time of startup of your uh, Windows 10 PC. So if you want to disable them, you can disable them from here. Users, I only have one user, but uh, if you have more users, then you will be able to see the details about the users, how much memory they are taking. And then uh, in the details, you will be able to see more details about uh, 
which process is taking how much memory and how much CPUs. You can also sort uh, uh, the CPU usage in ascending or descending order and memory usage in ascending and descending order. If you just want to see the broader picture, then you can just see it in the process view. Okay, here also you can, uh, you know, uh, order them into the amount of memory they are using in the ascending or descending order. Here also you can uh, see, I can uh, just sort this memory in ascending and descending order. So this is how you can check your uh, RAM and the system information on your Windows 10 operating system. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.